on WLSN TV 44, Lima, Ohio. It's the high school volleyball division four regional championship, the final eight. Jeff Overholzer along with Chris Luthold, already energy here at Northmont. Well, we have a lot of people here, and if you've been to Northmont, you know this is sort of a bowl gymnasium with seating all the way around, and both sides have a huge student section, especially New Bremen, and, and the student, the adults also are filling this gym. There's not very many empty seats. Well, when you look at this, you're looking at actually the final coaches poll, Fort Lormie number one, New Bremen number two. Yeah, and there, these schools in the last 10 years have really dominated the top five. Both teams have state championships. In fact, New Bremen won the state championship last year, and Fort Lormie won a state championship back in 2014. They were a runner-up in 2019, so they've all been here before. I'm sure these players that are in uniform tonight were little girls when, uh, when those state championships first happened. Well, you're looking at head coach uh, John Rogers of uh, Fort Lormie, the District 9 Coach of the Year, and also Diana Kramer of the New Bremen Cardinals, also the MAC Tri Coach of the Year. Now these conferences are right next door to each other. Um, Shelby County League and then also the Mid Midwest Athletic Conference. And I'm sure they've played club together, the girls have, and they team, the two players know each other very well, the coaches know each other very well. This is just gonna be a great state championship type match today. And one of these teams actually are heavily favored whoever wins to go to the Nutter Center for the state championship. Yeah, so the winner here goes to the Nutter Center next week. And there's some other good teams around the state. Uh, Shenandoah is undefeated. They're from southeastern Ohio. And if they win, I think they, they could contend. And the winner of the game today that's up at Elida uh, between um, Crestview and Tiffin Calvert will also be a, a, a team that could very well win the state championship. All right, let's take a look at the starting lineups first for Fort Lormie, they'll be the road team on the scoreboard, 25 and two under John Rogers at his 17th season. Number two, Skylar Albers, a senior. Number six, Avery Brandaway, a junior. Number seven, Jetta Barhorst, a junior. Also number 20, Summer Hoying, a senior. Number 21, Victoria Mesher, a junior. Also number nine, Katie Luthman, a junior. And the libero will be Hallie Grillio, a senior. For the New Raymond Cardinals, they're 22 and four under eighth year head coach Diana Kramer with 202 wins. Amelia Dammeyer, a senior, will start number two. Also a junior, Melina Schrader, number one. Also Olivia Dammeyer, number three, a senior. Olivia Heitkamp, number four, a senior. Number 10, Sarah Dwanger, a junior. Number 13, Ella Kramer, a junior. The libero will be Kara Steiniger, a junior for the New Bremen Cardinals. These two teams met earlier in the year and Fort Lormie defeated New Bremen at New Bremen, three to one. And at this level, it's hard to beat somebody twice. So I think, uh, you know, Fort Lormie, even though they're ranked number one uh, and uh, New Bremen number two, I think we can look at this, Jeff, and say that there's actually no difference between the two. Neither one would be favored. R1 is Mindy Leonard, uh, and R2 for the officiating is veteran Steve Trout. And I've seen Steve officiate for many years. He's one of the good ones. And if, if you're officiating at this level, you know you're good. We've got good line judges here that are actual officials, uh, registered officials. So I, th I think uh, we're in good hands with that part of the game. I knew Bremen, they won the toss, elected to receive here in the first set. Scoreboard sponsor for today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapakoneta, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And volleyball happens right here. Start. And the tip back over quickly by New Bremen by Dammeyer. And then New Bremen gets the first point. Yeah, Jenna Barhorst wanted to tip that with her left hand, which setters like to do, but she just didn't get enough uh, altitude on that. So it looks like the decision to s receive serve was a good one by New Bremen. And Meyer with the serve and a quick kick back over and in by Victoria Mesher. A quickly tied 1-1 here in set one. Well, those are two pretty quick points. And 
Victoria Mesher, who got the kill, is back to serve. So neither team so far with a point for behind the service line. We're early. Quick set. The slam is by Ava Trentman. Then free ball back over by Fort Laramie. Tipped over. Two players come together, but they free ball it back over the net quickly. And then a nice hit by Newbreman to find the corner away from Mesher. And Dubreman leads 2-1. Well, that's the setter, Melina Schrader. She's committed to go to Dayton. Dayton, by the way, is ranked number 18 this week in, uh, in college volleyball. And uh, she's just a junior, but she was first team All-Ohio last year. She's one of the great setters in the state. Kira Stadiger. The libero serves the quick set and the hammer, and it's in with a kill by Summer, Summer Hoy. I think they've called it out. Oh, they the line, just yeah, called the line, it out. Yeah, the line judge called that out. So. Wow, that was close. Well, we couldn't tell here from our viewpoint. It was pretty close to the line. Now 3-1, New Bremen with the lead here in set number one. Both teams use a three-person serve receive. Continuing to serve is Steiniger. The libero with the dig, that's Hallie Grillio. And tipped over short by Brandewee. Now tipped over on the free ball by Heitkamp. Quick set for Summer. And this Great time dig. saved. Nice dig for Heitkamp. She tips it again the second time. Tipped quickly back over by New Bremen. Nice volley by both teams. And stepping underneath the line or in the net. Or did they call it? They called it on Fort Warmie. And that's on Skyler Albers. I thought they were close to having two players that were close to I, underneath the net. I agree there, and then it would be who touched the net first. Right. I wasn't sure. Steiniger continuing to serve for New Bremen. 4-1, Cardinals on the Lee's famous recipe, chicken scoreboard. Tip back over at the left hand by Barhorst. Back over quickly by New Bremen. And the quick set, and Summer Hoying with a kill. But no, so far, what, what Fort Lormy wants to do is have summer all day. Well, yeah, <laughs> she's a great one. Uh, you know, she's been a three-year varsity player, although she missed a little bit her, her, I believe her sophomore year with a knee injury. But she's just a great outside hitter. Service by Barhorst. Set for height camp. Nice dig by Grillio. And a long hit this time is long out of bounds by Summer Hoy. Well, we've had a little bit of everything so far. Both setters have tipped the ball. Uh, Schrader has a kill on that. We have uh, we had a really long point, and we've had some quick points. Back to serve is Schrader for New Bremen. And this time, a nice block at the net. And that was by Olivia Dammeyer, a senior, who put block. Summer Hoy, and not too many people block Summer Hoy. Not too many, no. Dammeyer's one of a set of twins that are on the new Bremen squad. Both are on the floor right now. And that one goes out beyond the antenna on the hit that time by Barhorst. So now it's seven to two, a little mo mojo going for new Bremen. Yeah, the ball has to pass over the net completely between the two antennas. Quick hit by Fort Lormie on the return by Frilling. But then right there again, this time is Olivia Heitkamp for New Bremen. And now it's 8-2. to two. Timeout, Fort Lormie. We're here at Northmont Regional Championship. You're watching it right here on WOSN. Premier sponsor for New Bremen is Himmelgaard Real Estate. Their premier sponsor for the Bremen Cardinals. Make your next move with the name you trust, Himmelgaard Real Estate. All right, the Cardinals right now on a big run. And continuing to serve is Schrader. Lena Schrader, and this one's long out of bounds. So that's something that you stop and think about when there's a timeout called how does it go after the timeout? That time it's beneficial for Fort Lorman. Well, that's one of the seven times you're not supposed to miss a serve, and that's after a timeout. So, uh, But, you know, New Bremen 
In fact, both these teams are going to serve tough. They're not going to serve easy serves. Summer Hoying with the serve for Fort Loramie, tipped over by Dan Meyer. Tipped right back over, saved by New Bremen. That's free balled over by Amelia Dammeyer. This one's off the block on the spike by Brandewee. Coming right back is Heitkamp. And Olivia Heitkamp with another kill. She's got two kills now. The first person with two this afternoon. And of course she gets the kill and goes back and serves for New Bremen. And the Lee's famous recipe, chicken, scoreboard 9-3. New Bremen with the first set lead. Quick set. And hit over short by Brandewee. Quick set this time, and the spike is there by Mary Rindler. Mary's just a sophomore, but she started in the front row last year as a freshman for New Bremen when they won their state championship. She's got, she's an experienced player, even though she's just a sophomore. It's a nice little tip. I camp with a serve, quick set, and the hit is long out of bounds by Skyler Albers. 11 to three, New Bremen with a lead here in set number one. Well, their back row did a good job of getting out of the way of that hit. I thought it might have touched somebody, but evidently not. Service over, set by Barhorst, and the hit back over for the New Bremen, for Fort Laramie, and then New Bremen's hit that time is blocked at the net by Avery Brandaway. It's not easy blocking back row hits because the the timing is difficult, and there's also just a wider angle for the potential track of the ball. So it's a nice block there by uh, Fort Laramie. Back to service, Skyler Albers. Albers with the serve, Heitkamp with the dig. Quick spike back over by Rindler, then tipped back over by Brandewee. And they're going to call a double hit on New Bremen, so I'll give a point for New Bremen. And you know, that shows right now the first service point, at least on my sheet. And it's 11 to yeah, 5. Yeah, yeah, so they've just been getting their side out point, yes. Albers with the serve. Dig the set, quick spike, and it's out of bounds on the spike by Mary Rindler. Now Fort Lormie gauging a little bit of confidence. 11 to six here in set number one. Quick set and the back set, and in the corner on the hit by Amelia Dammeyer. That's one of the twins, her first kill. So now we have three different girls with kills for New Bremen. Schrader does a really nice job of spreading that ball around to all of her hitters. Sarah Dwanger back to serve from the left backer's position for New Bremen. Quick pass and the side shot is in by Avery Brandewee. Good play for Fort Lorman. That, that was a nice play, he hit cross court. And Brandy Wee has a, her first kill. Now three girls from Fort Lormie have kills. Katie Luthman checks in, replacing Ellen Frewing for Fort Lormie. Back to serve is Luthman. Olivia Heitkamp with the pass and the spike back over for New Bremen. Block at the net again by Olivia Danmeyer, the senior, number three. She's not all that tall, but boy, does she get elevation at the net. Well, New Bremen is kind of known for having not that tall right side and middle hitters, but just very athletic and good jumpers. And she fits that, she fits that, uh, that mold perfectly. What a save for New Bremen, and right back again, and another save. What a great volley, and then a short hit is there. For Fort Lormie. Yeah, Victoria Mesher will give her a kill on that. That's her second kill. Yeah. But you're right, New Bremen played Man. pretty good defense right there. That was excellent volleyball. Brandaway will serve. And that is going to be an ace serve, we'll call that. It really didn't control it. That doesn't happen very often, mm -hmm. though. The ball drops between two players for, for either of these teams. 
13 to nine on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Tight one, New Bremen with the early great. lead here in set one. Great set. That's a great hit by Amelia Dambeyer off of Jenna Barhorst to Fort Loramie. And now it's 14 9, side out, Cardinals. That's her second kill. So Amelia Dambeyer, the senior, will serve from the right backer's position. Dig by Grillio. The pass and hit into the net by Summer Hoy. We have a nice high ceiling here, and that bump set was very high. It was very difficult to time that because the ball moves faster when it's uh, set high. And Meyer will continue to serve. This one's into the net. You know, one thing that New Bremen Cardinals coach says that high risk, high reward mentality. Mistakes make mistakes, but respond after mistakes. So and there is a mistake right there. Yes. So we'll see how they respond. 15-10, New Bremen at the lead. Wow. Quick set, high slam by Olivia Heitkamp of New Bremen off of Jenna Barhorst. So there's your response to the mistake from into the net. Yeah, well, you know if you can pass, you can get hits like that, and that's her third kill. Heitkamp's uh, agreed to go to the University of Toledo next year. Service over by Steiniger. Double block at the net, but Fort Lormy keeps it going. And Summer Hoying with a nice hit. That's her second kill. Well, after that first time out, when it was 8-2, to two, it's been a pretty even game. In fact, uh, Fort Lormy's knocked one point off that deficit. Jetta Barhorst will serve. Olivia Heitkamp with a dig. And the slam is there by sophomore Mary Windler. That was about an eight-step approach. Usually have a three-step approach. She had about eight steps on that. I mean, you could probably put a pancake toward the back part of that <laughs> line on that yeah. slam. 17 to 11. Dubreman with the lead and continue to serve. It's Schrader. Barhorse with a quick set. Hit back over by Albers. Quick set, the near side to high camp, and that will go off a Brandaway. Another point for New Bremen. And that's her uh, fourth kill. Right now, Schrader is on the move. Has four service points here in this first set. I stood toward the back line. The free ball back over by Barhorst. Back set to Heitkamp, and she splits the backside for a kill. Well, that assist uh, goes to Kira Steininger, the libero. And she did a nice job setting out with her hands. Timeout, Fort Lormie, 19 to 11. New Bremen with the lead in this regional championship. Set number one, you're watching it here on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is being brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapakoneta, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Along with Chris Luthold, I'm Jeff Overholster. Bought a lot of uh, volleyball action going on here and a lot of energy. Well, and give credit to the two setters. Both setters are doing a fine job tracking down the passes and and getting the ball to the hitters. Look at that right there. That was a tight uh, pass, and, and Barhorst was able to get a nice set. And where Fort Lormie comes up toward the net, they leave the backside open, and there again is Mary Rindler with another kill. Six and, service points now for Schrader. And third kill from Riddler. And that one's into the net. So now it is 20 to 12. Well, you, what well, you talked about risk reward or a little bit earlier, that's their third uh, miss serve. But when you pass like New Bremen does, we'll see what they, what they do coming out of that miss. Uh, okay, pass. Summer Hoying on the serve and then they, New Bremen keeps it high miraculously and coming right back on the spike is Brandaway 
Good dig by Dammeyer. And then coming right back is Olivia Heitkamp off of Summer Hoying for the point. That kill number six. Last year, uh, Heitkamp played on the right side in the front row where she could get some blocks. This year, she's moved over to the left, and she's doing extremely well there. Olivia Heitkamp back to serve. She is the first team all Mac. And that one, though, goes into the net. Alita Schrader, Mac. Co-player of the year, named also to the first team in the MAC. Skyler Albers will serve for Fort Hormie. Successful on the dig by Steiniger. Free balled over by Heitkamp, and it's in. Fort Hormie thought it was out of bounds and let it go, and that's a kill for Heitkamp. All she was trying to do is just get it over. She was, and you know, there's nobody to help the passer on that. The passer has to decide that on her own because that's on the sideline. So there's nobody there to, to, to say, play it or out. Wanger with the serve. Quick set and the smash and a kill is by Victoria Mesher. That's her third kill. You're talking about the Shelby County League. First team, player of the year, Summer Hoying. Also named the first team, Jenna Barhorst. Second team, Avery Brandewey. Now I will mention Victoria Mesher, whom we just mentioned. Well, I'm pretty sure some of these girls are going to get all Ohio mentioned also when it's announced next week. Quick set and the hit over by Amelia Dammeyer. Tipped over successfully by Mesher and then quickly back over by Trentman. And Fort Lauderdale couldn't take care of it. Well, it looked like they maybe started to celebrate a little bit too soon early in that rally. But um, that, that, that tip is one that uh, they probably should have been able to handle. April Baker, the sophomore, is back to serve for Dupreeman. Dig by Hoying, and Hoying gets the return pass and back over the net. Quick hit, and back toward the line is Schrader for a quick kill. Yeah, she had 100 and some kills this year, which is a lot for uh, a setter. Now, Amelia Dammeyer, 150 kills. If you want to look at the way their kills, Olivia Heitkamp, 364. She's already had a bunch already in this yeah, first set. Yeah, seven. Grillio with the dig and then punched right back over by Fort Laramie, tipped over by Trentman. Quick set by Barhorst, and coming right back, a nice spike and kill by Brandewey. She picks up her second kill. 24-15 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. New Bremen's gonna have nine set points here to play for, so nine, nine plays to get that 25th point. And sometimes it's not very easy. No, Brandewey. especially against the number one team in the state. Brandewee with a serve. Quick hit back over by Schrader. Coming right back, and the block is right there on Summer Hoying by Schrader. 25-15, the final score in set number one. New Bremen defeats Fort Lormy. We get set for set two here at Northmont on WOSN. Here on West Ohio Sports Network from Northmont High School, northwest of Dayton, Ohio. Welcome to regional championship volleyball coverage. One of these teams will move on to the Nutter Center to play in the state semifinals. Right now, New Bremen up one set to none. And premier sponsor for New Bremen is Himmelgarn Real Estate. They are the premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals. Make your next move with a name you can trust, Himmelgarn Real Estate. Well, you're perception of and thoughts of that first set well I'm a little surprised that it was a 10 point difference and I look for this set to be a lot closer than that in fact um, you know we talked earlier Jeff about this would be surprised if this was a five set match so we're, I expect Fort Lorme to come out here and uh, you know this is something that they're not used to and I, they're, they're gonna come out here and play hard in that first set, uh, New Bremen had 15 kills, led by Olivia Heitkamp with seven, and Mary Rindler with three. No ace serves, 
they missed four serves, but they did have three blocks for points. Uh, for Fort Laramie, they had seven kills and one ace served. Victoria Mesher led the team in kills with three. They didn't miss any serves, and they blocked one time for a point. All right, now uh, for New Bremen to get here, they played here at Northmont and defeated Rushi 25-14, 25-11, 25-11. And also the Redskins defeated Jackson Center here at North Northmont, 25-12, 25-15, 25-15. And you're looking at a Redskins team that are yet to lose a set in the postseason until the one we just saw. Yeah, well, it's the first time they played uh, the number two team in the state, I guess. That's how you could look at that. I did play them earlier in the season. But, and but that's them. true. That's right. That's but right. as far yeah. as tournament, yeah, tournament, tournament. Run. yep. Yeah, right. their first tournament game, they won 25-1, 25-1, 25-1. <laughs> so Yikes. either one girl served them all or, the you know, could have been two girls at the most. With Chris Luthold, I'm Jeff Overholzer. We're pleased to bring you this outstanding volleyball action here on WOSN. Jacob O'Neill is our cameraman, and the editor will be Nick Fraley. Service over the net, and that was just long, just past the line by Summer Hoy. Boy, not by much. That couldn't mm. have been more than about a foot. She's in the back row, so, uh, you know, you can hit from back there as long as you're behind the spiking line. Elia Dammeyer with the serve. Tip over by Summer Hoy. Pass back to Olivia Heitkamp, who tips it over, and then quickly a tip back over. Nice dive by Dammeyer, and hitting it over is Heitkamp, and right now, you are witnessing how the New Bremen Cardinals are winning this matchup so far. Well, I got to tell you, I thought that ball was going to hit the floor. Yes. And Amelia Dammeyer went back there and bopped that up with one hand, but I really thought that was going to hit the floor. It kept it alive and got the point. Two nothing on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. It's regional championship. The serve is over. The tip over by Barhorst is blocked by guess who? Olivia Heitkamp. She gets a kill. Well, tall girl, tall vertical jump, tall reach. Not surprising. That serve is into the net. That's the fifth miss serve from New Bremen. Doesn't seem to matter, though. And the Redskins felt like their front line played well in their last matchup. So we're seeing how this is going to work out, 3-1. New Bremen. Quick set, tipped back over by Mesher. Saved. And hit back over by Olivia Heitkamp. And she has been red hot. Kill number nine. But uh, Kira Steininger kept that ball alive. She's libero. And she's been going to volleyball games since she was born. Her mom was the coach at uh, Marion Local and won a state championship a few years ago. With the outstanding play, of course, she serves. Barhorst with a pass. And that one is blocked out of bounds off of Schrader. That was a good hit that time for okay. Fort Lorman. Yeah, give the kill to Summer Hoeing. That's her third. And Victoria Mesher is back to serve. Things have settled down a little bit for Fort Lorman. Demeyer hoping to get it over and tapped right back over his bar horse. <laughs> She's going to make sure that that's going to be a point. I didn't know if that ball was going to get to the <laughs> net or not, and you got to be careful. All right. You know, if the ball lands on the other side of the net and you're in the net, that's a huge mistake, but she did a nice job there. Quick hit back over quickly by Schrader, saved by Fort Lorme, and they put it in on the hit by Brandaway. That's her third kill. And a little life here from mm -hmm. uh, Fort Loramie. Yeah, they're starting to get the Fort Loramie crowd now into it. And it is a big crowd. 4-4 four, four score here in set number two. We bring it up so one set to none. We're here at Northmont. Beautiful school facility. That's service long by Mesher out of bounds. Just their first miss serve. People at home can see the New Bremen crowd on the other side. This side, the Fort Lorme crowd on our side is just as full. 
Serve over. And the quick hit by Brandon Wheat. Back set for Heitkamp, and that is another clubbing kill. Kill number 10 already. Trader with her seventh service point already. The first here in set number two. New Bremen with two straight points. And coming right back on the strong kill by Skyler Alberts. Nice little backslide there. and She got a perfect set and uh, hit that ball really hard. Jenna Barhorst back to serve for Fort Lorman. Serve over, dig, and now free ball over by Heitkamp, and it hits off of a couple of players, and Kareen's out of bounds. That will be a kill for Heitkamp. It's almost like Heitkamp is just going, okay, I'm going to hit the ball, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I mean, she hit that hard. They were out of system, and she hit that ball really hard. Now she's back to serve. Dig by Brandaway. Pass up to Summer. Hoying, and she is into the net. That'll be a point for New Bremen. That was another one there where we almost had a player from each side in the net, but there's no doubt that it was Hoying. Uh, plus, her foot was completely across the center line, which is a violation as well. That service into the net. Gave you the Shelby County League. They gave you the first team for the MAC. Second team, Amelia Dammeyer, Mary Rinder, also Kira Steiniger and Ava Tripp, and an honorable mention, Olivia, Olivia Dammeyer. So that serves out of bounds. So now it's nine to six, and back to serve on the side out will be the Cardinals of New Bremen. After serving 100% in the first set, Fort Lormie's now missed two in this set. Sarah Dwenger back to serve, and that one's deep. Dig toward the back line, quick set, and they hit back over quickly by Albers and return quickly by New Bremen. Set to the near side, tipped over, saved. At the net, Trentman saves it for New Bremen. Back set this time, hit back over by Dan Meyer. Set on the far side and in on the hit by Avery Brandewick. Another good rally there. Both these teams play so well when they're out of system. Their skill level is so high, and, and uh, all, all 12 players on the floor have really quick feet. Makes it fun to watch. Back to serve is Skyler Albers, who had two service points in the first set. Quick set this time, and tipped over by Dan Meyer, and that went off of the block of Ellen Frewing. Amelia Dan Meyer now has three kills. So April Baker is back to serve for New Bremen. She's sort of a serving specialist. She'll serve here and then come out and did the same thing part of the time last year. That serve is long and out of bounds. So the least famous recipe scoreboard, 10 to 8, New Bremen leading here in set two over Fort Lorman. Katie Luthman is back to serve for the Redskins. That one's long and out of bounds, so tit for tat, we go back and forth with points. Oh boy, two great programs are playing for this regional championship. Yep, and of course, again, both teams serve hard, and when you serve tough, you're gonna miss a few. That was close. Close toward the back line, the pass. Yep. This one's hit long, out of bounds by Brandaway. So Amelia Dammeyer continuing to serve for New Bremen. Bar horse with a quick hit back over, tipped over by Heitkamp, and now they're going to say into the net. I, I saw it, but I wasn't sure which, which side it was. There were two players, one from each team, right there at that spot. Well, Fort Lormy head coach uh, John Rogers wants to call a timeout, seeing the flow going a little bit toward New Bremen's way. 13-8 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. Back with more of the regional final in set two of WOSN. Back here at Northmouth, 
We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at, at the app, which is WOSN.TV, also on Roku and Apple TV. Chris Luthal, Jeff Oberholzer back here at Northmont. A little bit of space now for New Bremen, up by five. Up by five, and you know, that's going to be hard to overcome. A little unusual position for Fort Loramie. Served by Dan Meyer is over. Quick set and running up to hit a short one was Mesher and met with a block. Well, they came out of that timeout with a nice pass, and that's what you have to do, and a, and a good set. She just wasn't able to get any power on that hit. It was Ava Trippman who got the block back on the other side. So Dan Meyer continues to serve. Nice tip over by the New Bremen uh, for Jenna Barhorst of Fort Lormy and New Bremen could not get it back over the net by think, the libero. Yeah, the ball went out outside the antenna. Plus, I think she might have been across the center line. Your hands and feet can go across the center line as long as part of the hand or foot is above the center line, but no other parts of the body can cross the center line. Nice hit again on the kill by Olivia Heitkamp. That's 12. She's got more kills than the rest of her teammates added together. I think I keep going back to her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is not a time where you, well, let's just kind of give everybody, you know, I think this is you go with your best. Dara Steiniger back to serve for New Bremen. I stick by Brandaway. Pass, and that's a hard spike and kill by Summer Hoy. Yeah, why not give it to her? You know, she's the experienced player, first team all Shelby County, and that's her fourth kill. Yeah, player of the year for Shelby County. And Schrader is the MAC co-player of the year for New Bremen. Yeah, player of the year against player of the year. Dig by Heitkamp, right back over the net. But Heitkamp comes right back up, saves it. The quick hit is out of bounds, cross court by Mary Rindler. Well, Fort Lormy needs to get a, they need to get a couple of points every time they go back to serve now. Not sure the serve, that's an ace. Only the second ace and both by Fort Lormy in this you, matchup. You consider how tough these players serve, but then their serve receive skills are so, so good. That and was like a knuckleball again, yeah. another ace. Yeah, I just jinxed uh, New Bremen by talking about how good their serve receive skills were. Well, Steiniger had a hard time receiving that one, and now a timeout for the New Bremen Cardinals and Diana Kramer, 15-13. New Bremen with the lead, set two on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapakoneta, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Great volleyball is happening right here at Northmont. Fort Lormy coming back. Mesher with a serve. Heitkamp coming back with a hard spike. Saved. And back to Summer Hoying. She hits it long toward the line and cannot be saved by Amelia Danmeyer. Or did, to, did they? She's got her hand under it, evidently. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Coach I Rogers, thought it was over. Well, Coach Rogers is saying that right now that the ball either hit the floor or somebody was under the net. But Mr. Trout says he didn't see it. I Wow, I thought it was over. I thought it hit the hit the floor and it was over. I took my eyes and looked so to the other I looked, side. I looked away and from then it. when I came back, so I really don't know. Well, the score now is 16-13. And serving is Schrader. Quick hit this time. And coming back with a thundering spike to Sky, uh, Skyler Albers. And you know, with a coach being upset, maybe that generates well, some energy. Well, it could energy. be. So, you know, that works a lot in, in the major leagues when the, when the manager gets tossed out of the game. Uh, no so tossing here. No but tossing here. But well, they, they can, but yeah. it won't happen. Continuing to serve is Bar Horse. 16 14, tight one here in set two. Rindler gets a nice soft hit. Mary Rindler, the sophomore. 
That's her fourth kill. But that was really a critical point at this, mm. this, this stage. You know, it's the only game where if you make a mistake, the other team gets a point. I can't put the serve. Quick hit back by Albers. And set toward the net, and that was too close to the net. It was tipped over by Frilling. Port Lormley scores a point. That's their second block on the night. Summer Hoying with the serve for Fort Lormie. Set over and nice hit that time by Olivia Danmeyer of New Bremen. That's just her first kill. So going back to serve will be Sarah Dwenger for the New Bremen Cardinals. Cardinals 22 and four, Fort Lormie 25 and two. I'll tell you here in a moment, the two losses for Fort Lormie will kind of surprise you by the same team. Uh oh. Nice hit by Dan Meyer. The two losses for Fort Lormie by St. Henry. Oh, who's playing today? Yeah. They're playing at Liberty Benton today right now. So now a timeout on the floor. 1915, New Bremen with the lead here in set two of the regional championship. And we were just talking about how these teams got here. New Bremen with uh, 22 and four. Fort Loramie at 25 and two. The two losses for Fort Loramie were by St. Henry. And for the New Bremen Cardinals, they have four losses on the season. And for them, they have lost, well, when you look at the uh, ones that Fort Loramie lost to, New Bremen lost to Crestview. They ran off several wins in a row. And Crestview's playing today for a chance to go to the state tournament. Then losses to St. Henry, to Fort Loramie, and to Lima Shawnee. Those are the losses for New Bremen. And Shawnee just lost uh, in the uh, regional on Thursday, I believe. They were undefeated going into that, so that's some pretty good teams on their schedule. Their non-league schedules, both these teams are just really tough. So Sarah Dwanger continuing to serve for New Bremen. That's long out of bounds. Missed serve number eight, but as we've said earlier, it doesn't seem to matter. Dwanger, another designated server for uh, New Bremen. She and uh, April Baker come in and serve and then come back out. It's nice to be able to uh, have girls that can do that. Skyler Albers with the serve for Fort Lormie. Block at the net and New Bremen could not get it back over. That was a nice block by Victoria Mesher. Yeah, that's their second block in this set, third overall. Albers with only her third point so far in this matchup. First one here in set two. It's a little tight. Wow, and hitting the post and doing a great effort was Amelia Dammeyer. Now that's two straight, maybe three straight. Now it's 19-18. on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. That serve is short into the net by Albers. Just when you feel like the Fort Lorman crowd was getting into it, and they had the momentum. Yeah, if they get that point, which they still would have to earn, if they get that point, it's a tie. Now it's a two-point deficit. Served by Baker. Quick set this time off the double block, and it was Mesher again for Fort Lorman. And that's her fourth kill. Coming in is Katie Luthman for Fort Lorman. Going out is Frilling. And back to serve is Luthman. That serve is long and out of bounds, and I can't almost went, I was going to go for that. Well, there's probably, you know, we got our headphones on, so it's hard to hear, but I'm sure there were some girls down there yelling out, out, out. That's their fifth missed serve, all in this set. Now we don't have the scoreboard. Nice block right. by Olivia Heitkamp. I think it's 21 to 18, but I'm just purely guessing at this point. We did point. lose the scoreboard. I don't think anybody on the floor has noticed it. Yeah, now they've, now they've noticed it. They're going to stop. Okay, they should yep. stop play. 
Yeah, they're going to stop and see what's going on here. You didn't step on the cord, do you, Jeff, and pull it out? Well, it's if it is, Jacob we're probably high up it. here at Northmont, so <laughs> yeah, so we're if it's way up here, then <laughs> wow. Well, the feeling that you get so far with this matchup and everything you thought maybe one and two would play. Well, it's just been great. The passing is so good, and we've got two of the best setters. Really, there have been very few points scored on errors, except for missed serves. There have been a few missed serves, but most of the points are scored on kills, blocks, things like that. Okay, now it's 22 to 19, so we were close. The serve is over and returned by Trentman. Just her second kill, but she's been a force up there. Now there goes the scoreboard, went out again. Now 23-19, the scoreboard went out again. Okay, now they have it back on, but now they're going to do a little more technical work. So that gives us a chance to tell you that check out our website, WOSN TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state of Ohio. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Serve is over by Dan Meyer. The return, though, is there by Victoria Mesher toward the back line. It's a 23-20. WSN does a great job of putting uh, the Friday night scores on for football and the weekly scores for uh, all the sports that go on during the week. Just a really nice job. I'm looking at that, their website all the time. A whole chock full of plethora of information. That serve is over, saved by Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, they did a nice job on that one. I thought that was going into the seats. Lutzman keeps it and hit back over by New Bremen quickly. Summer comes right back with the kill, and that's Summer Hoy. Kill number five for her. Now 23-21. Yeah, you want your teams to play tough in the 20s, and uh, they didn't both get in the 20s in the first set, but here we are. We'll see who plays the toughest. A dig by Stadiger of New Bremen. Pass over, and they go to the money person, Olivia Heitkamp, who has been money. These two sets for New Bremen. Six kills in this set, 13 overall. Now this is set point for New Bremen, 24-21. They'll get three chances here to get that 25th point. Kiara Steiniger back to serve the libero. Serve is over. Barnhorse tips it over quickly, and quickly back over by Schrader. Blocked at the net by Mary Rindler on the spike by Summer Hoying. And now two sets to none, New Bremen leads Fort Lormie. 25-21, set two. Ready for set three. From Northmont Regional Championship here on West Ohio Sports Network, WOSN. The premier sponsor for New Bremen is Hemelgarn Real Estate. And the premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals for today's match. Make your next move with a name you can trust, Hemelgarn Real Estate. We're getting ready for set through three, a battle between two powerhouse volleyball programs, a colossal matchup, and has not been disappointing at all. Well, even though New Bremen has a 2-0 lead in, in sets, it's been extremely competitive. In that set there, New Bremen had 11 kills and no ace serves, led by Olivia Heitkamp with six kills. And uh, they did miss four serves, however, but they also had four blocks. Uh, Fort Lormie had 10 kills, led by uh, Summer Hoying with three and uh, three other girls with two. They had two aces, both by Victoria Mesher. They missed five serves, however, and had two points for blocks. All right, Fort Lormie will serve here in set three, down two sets to none. Brandewey will serve into the net. So now side out, New Bremen, Milia Dammeyer back to serve. That one is just out. How about Whoa, that? that was close. Two uh, top ranked teams in the state and they start the set with uh, two missed serves. That doesn't happen very often. 
Back to serve will be Victoria Mesher. That's going to be an ace. <laughs> I think Mesher has got the got it going. She has three service aces out of the four for Fort Lorman. Well, that ball doesn't rotate, which means it's floating like a knuckleball. It's very difficult to handle, even if it's not served very hard. That serve right there, set. Trentman with a hit right at the net. Heitkamp hits it back over. It's going to go out of bounds, and it does. Wow, listen, you're talking about inches where the ball drops. Well, a lot of the balls that have been near the out have been very close to the line. Back to serve is Kara Steindiger, the libero. And the return libero is Grillo. That, that was just a great set. Now, you, but if you're wondering, you can use your feet now. That ball was kicked over here by uh, New Bremen, and that's, that's legal. Of course, it was kicked out of bounds, and that's not legal. Jenna Barhorst back to serve 3-2. The lead for Fort Lormie, and boy, a little discombobulation there for New Bremen. They tried to keep it going with Schrader and uh, Olivia Dammeyer, and it does not work. It's been a very odd start to the yeah. uh, set number three. I mean, if you're New Bremen, you have to feel really good, but you also have to finish just as Olivia Heitkamp did. Well, that's really a cross-court serve that's tough to defend. And you've got Fort Lormie that's going, we can claw back into this. Schrader back to serve for New Bremen. Take by Grillo, pass by Barhorst, hit back over by Hoying. The pass, the set, and again, it's Olivia Heitkamp. It's her 15th, uh, 16th kill. Olivia Heitkamp is a senior. Three seniors, seven juniors on the Bremen side, seven seniors, nine juniors on the Fort Lormie roster. Right at the net, trying to save it. Could not a straight or good effort, though, for DeBrina. And a kill for uh, the car, uh, uh, for Fort Lormie, and I didn't get who that kill went to. So at the end of the night, Jeff, I'm going to have one girl with one <laughs> less kill. I'll try to do better for you. <laughs> Hoying with the serve, and then right back over his high camp again for DeBrina. Yeah, right to that same spot across court. We'll see if they adjust their defense. But you know what happens at volleyball? They readjust their defense for that, and she'll put it somewhere else? She will, yep. Olivia Heitkamp serving. She's not done it from the service line. She has done it from the kill department. And that time, it goes out to Heitkamp, but she could not take care of that one. Give that kill to Brandy Wee. That's her fifth. A six to five, Fort Lormie. They've taken the one point lead here in set three. You bring it up two sets to none. Highly contested this regional championship. Served by Albers. Hit back over. It is successful, or are they going to say? No, it's not. I saw Rindler go underneath the net, and Trout caught it, said no. Or did they? It looked like he was calling. Yeah, that's right, they, it is. He did call for Rindler under the net. So it will be for Lormie. They will continue to have the volleyball. Yeah, good catch there, Jeff, because the line judge had that hit in, and I did not see her go underneath the net. So, so good catch on that. Yeah, I saw her, her momentum go underneath the net, and I thought, are they going to catch it? And they did. That serve is out of bounds. Well, it's hard from our vantage point to see if the foot's completely under the net because the pole is there for some players, or, or for for part of it, and then the players get obstruct our vision a lot on that. So we will trust the officials. But the one thing Rindler did was quickly go across the line and jump right back yeah, over, so it was very yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, whoop. I camp on the dig on the hit by Fort Lormie. Hey, right into the net is Amelia Dammeyer. So now double substitutions coming in, and it's Steiniger, the libero back in. 
for Duke Bremen and for Fort Loramie. They have back to serve number nine, Katie Luthol, replacing Ellen Furley. Quick set, Dan Meyer. Nice dig though for Fort Loramie. And coming right back is Fort Loramie on the hit. And that is going to be a kill by Avery Brandewey. That's her sixth, which leads Fort Loramie in kills. Nine to six, biggest lead for Fort Loramie here in this matchup so far. And we're in set three. Trentman back over on a quick hit. Tap back over by Mesher. Trentman with a hard hit in the corner, and it's in. Ava Trentman, Jr. And Steininger did a nice job getting that tip up that was tipped right over to zone four. And she covered that really well and allowed uh, Trentman then to get the kill. Back to serve, Olivia Dammeyer. Who might have been out. Saved on the dig by Summer Hoying and hit right back over by Fort Lormie. Quick hit that time, mitt in the middle of the defense by Schrader. Now it's nine to eight on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. We're in set three. We're bringing up two sets to none. Dan Meyer continues to serve, line drive serve. Barnhorse with a quick set and a spike and kill is there by Victoria Mesher. She has six kills now, also tying Brandywee for the team lead. Right now, Fort Lormie just keeping New Bremen a couple of points away in this third set. Well, the third set's the most important one. If you win set three, you either win the match or win to play a fourth set. So it's the one you have to win. That time, Olivia Heitkamp right at the 10-foot line with the spike, and it was slammed right back at her by Victoria Mesher again. And that's four blocks now for uh, Fort Loramie. 11 to eight for Loramie. Brandewee will continue to serve. Trentman this time got high trajectory to slam that one down for a kill. Now that nice little slide over there, she does that really well. I'm surprised they haven't done it a little bit more. Uh, with Schrader in the front row, there's no right side hitter, so um, that's a, a little surprise they haven't run that some more. Maybe she's talking with Trentman right now and says, we'll, we'll do it again. That's Trentman's fourth kill. Oh, yeah, Dan Meyer with the serve, a block, saved on the diving dig. And they keep play, did they play or not? No, apparently. No, Steininger was under the net. Right. Her, her arm was under the net. I was watching Trout, and I didn't see anything yeah. from Trout, but it was the R1 official up in. Right, and when I say under the net, I mean under the net across the line. Yeah. So now it's 12 to nine, matching the biggest lead. Serve is off of, well, goes over and then off of Trentman. Now it's 13 to nine, and timeout. New Bremen, 13-9. Fort Ormey with the lead here in set three. You're watching championship regional volleyball action from Northmont here on WOSN. Today's regional championship scoreboard is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapakoneta, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And we have a run by Fort Lormie here in set three. Well, four-point lead. Is that their biggest lead of the that night? Is their biggest lead. Mesher continues to serve. Dig over toward the line. That will be an ace. So Mesher knows how to get the aces done. She has four. Yeah, there haven't been a whole lot tonight. Six, I think, overall by Fort Lormie. So four of them by Mesher. Another ace. Quickest way to score a point. We'll see if they change their serve receive a little bit. When a player sees a knuckleball like that, is that very hard to differentiate on how to do something with the volleyball? Yeah, it is. It's the hardest to pass. And um, that had a little topspin on it. 
And that time stopping the scoring run, Olivia Heitkamp with the spike and kill. 15-10, New Bremen with their biggest lead here in set number three, the biggest lead of this matchup. The fans that sit on the end can see that ball move, and it moves a lot more than you would think it, that you think it would. Hit back over quickly is by Schrader of New Bremen. Coming right back is Summer Hoying, saved by Heitkamp, free balled over by Steiniger of St. Henry. Coming right back is Summer Hoying. Now, right now, they're liking yeah. Summer all day long. Well, that play right there, uh, the middle hitter did a little backslide to pull Riddler away from, uh, Riddler's the middle blocker for New Bremen, and she had to go over and, and, and block with that black backslide, so that's why there was just a one-on-one -on -one hit on the right, on the right uh, by Summer Hoeing. This one's going to be hit out of bounds for New Bremen, and Riddler tried to hit it over and got it blocked and eventually went out of bounds. So now 17 to 10, the, the biggest lead for Fort Laramie. Service over, the dig by Dan Meyer. Heitkamp comes right back. That goes into the net, trying to play it off the net. Was Barhorst, Point New Bremen. You know, one thing when you notice how the first and second sets for New Bremen, they were punishing the volleyball. Third set now, they're just trying to get it over because the, the flow is now going to Fort Lorman. I think their serve receive hasn't been as good as it was in the first two sets. See how if they can return. Schrader with the serve, and it's hit, and both players couldn't get it. So Fort Lorman scores yet another point inside out Redskins. It looked like maybe each player thought the other one was going to get it. That was. Uh, Heitkamp and Steininger. Heitkamp on the dig. Pass back to Heitkamp. Saved for Fort, Fort Loramie. Coming right back is Frilling. Saved by Heitkamp. Pass back to Heitkamp. Blocked at the net. Saved again. Heitkamp will try it again. Good dig by Fort Loramie. Coming right back. They hit it back over the net. That's Brandon Weep. Now up to Heitkamp who hits it over and hits it long again. Nice save by the Libero Grillo. And right back with the hit is Brandewee. And Dammeyer saves it along with Schrader. I mean, boy, right back is Brandewee. And this one hits the antenna on the hit by Olivia Dammeyer. Well, so that, that was, just was a great, great uh, spot. Yeah. Yep, both sides, both sides played the goofy ones well. And uh, both sides played when they're out of system. Lots of good hitting and defense. Summer Hoying with a serve for Fort Lormy. And Heitkamp hits it back over, saved for Fort Lormy. Brandaway oh. hits the top of the net, it rolls and falls on the New Bremen side. But sometimes the luck is on your side, yeah. and that time it was very good for Fort Lormy. Yeah, things are going their way right now in this third set. 22-11, Fort Lormy with the advantage, and I want to call you out here. Chris, it's, first of all, it's good to meet you. I've never met you before, but good to meet you. Thank you, same here. You know, you're looking at this type of volleyball. What is Fort Lormy doing different here in the third set that they weren't doing in the first two sets? Well, they're passing serve very well. They're hitting well. Uh, they missed five serves in set two, and they've only missed two serves in this one. Um, I think, you know, it's just a game of inches like any other sport. And I think they're just getting maybe those inches this time. I also think that New Bremen's not passing serve as well. So if you notice that Schrader is running all over the court on that first pass to try to get the ball set to one of her teammates. So uh, if New Bremen wants to get back in this, they're going to have to uh, pass better. Pass better off the serve. And boy, volleyball is all about the momentum. And right now it's on the side of Fort Lorman. It is a game of momentum, absolutely. Serve over by Summer Hoying, the set by Rindler, and she gets it over the net. See, and there they had a really nice pass right up to uh, Schrader. Now back to serve will be Olivia Heitkamp. 
And if you're New Bremen, you've got some work to do. If you're Fort Lormie, you want to hang on and win the set. Bar horse. And that was a double block by Dan Meyer and by Rindler on that spike. I think that ball blocked into somebody's head. That it was, it was so quickly. I, was that? I, was I so was quick. I couldn't see who that was. That was a nice double block. That service into the net by Heitkamp. So now they're scoring the least famous recipe, chicken scoreboard, 21-13, Fort Lormie here in set three. New Bremen's now missed 10 serves today. Back to service, Kyler Albers. That hits the top of the net and is in. Give kudos to Fort Lormie. When it works, it works. Well, and again, it's a game of inches. If it's a half inch lower, that ball doesn't go over the net. So they've had a couple of key plays here down the stretch that the net has been their friend. Yeah. Albers continue to serve for the Redskins at Fort Lormie. They now Schrader's got to go a long ways on that set. I can't back over, quick set this time. And it's a nice hit by Mesher. Went off the block of Mary Rindler right at the point of attack. And that's her seventh kill. Now Fort Lormie with a 10-point lead here in set three. Albers with a serve, that's into the net. Well, with a 10-point lead, you, in a way, you can afford to serve tough and take a chance and miss that serve. Now, if it would have been a one-point lead, that would be different. Back to serve for New Bremen is Sarah Dwenger. Hard horse sets up, and the spike is good by Ellen Brewing, number 23. Just her first kill, unless that kill was by her, that one you know earlier that I didn't I know who it could have been hers. But other than that, that's her first kill that I have. Set point now for Fort Lormie here in set three. Pass back, Dan Meyer, that's off the block. Now Brandaway. That's Olivia Dan Meyer's second kill. Forgot to mention, Jaden Rose, number eight, was inserted as the last one to serve for Fort Lormie. Another designated server. Dan Meyer's serve is long out of bounds, and that will do it. 25-15, Fort Lormie wins set number three. So now two sets to one. New Bremen with the lead. We get set for set number four from Northmont Regional Championship 2023 here on WOSF. We get ready for set number four. Himmelgar Real Estate is the premier sponsor for the Bremen Cardinals. Make your next move for the name you trust, Himmelgar Real Estate. Some key stats from that set number three. Give that win to Fort Lormie. They had 10 kills, uh, three by Brandy Wee and two by both uh, Summer Hoying and Victoria Mesher, but they had five ace serves. And um, it's pretty tough to get an ace serve on uh, New Bremen. They also uh, did not, uh, they also missed three serves and had one block for New Bremen. They had 11 kills, so they actually outkilled Fort Lormie, but no ace serves. Six of those kills were by Heitkamp. She now has 19 overall. They had three missed serves, including set point and one block. All right, we get set for set number four. The crowd coming to their feet. Well, those teams, there's still a minute and a half left. In fact, when they went out, there was about a minute 50 left, so these coaches really don't have that much to say. Uh, you know, it's just go out there and do your best. The WOSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores from WOSN. I'm sitting here thinking, I don't know what to think here in set number four. 
Well, you know, the thing about volleyball is you start all over. Yeah. And that's unique to sports. And um, I suppose there's some individual sports where that happens in tennis and so forth. But this starts all over. And so you have to forget it and come back and play the next one. Anything can happen in this fourth set. And Meyer with the serve for an agreement to start. Quick hit, and that is long out of bounds by Victoria Mesher. Remember, our third set, Jeff, started with a missed serve from each team. This time, uh, uh, Dammeyer got the serve in, and she got another one in. Free ball over by Summer Hoy. Quick hit back over quickly for New Bremen, and a quick spike and kill by Mesher. Where a fire was lit by Olivia Heitkamp of New Bremen. The fire has been rekindled and lit for Mesher. Yeah, she's got eight kills now, along with five ace serves. Randa Wee will serve. Take by Heitkamp. Pass back to Heitkamp, and the spike and kill. Now that time she didn't go down uh, across court. She went sort of into the center of the, of the court, and uh, Fort Laurie was there, but the ball was just hit a little bit short to be able to be played. Steiniger, Olibero back to serve for New Bremen. Kira Steiniger. Service over, the dig by Grillo, the libero for Fort Laurie. And the Redskins play it. But then, of course, New Bremen comes right back with Heitkamp, who finds the corner again. Kill number Just 21. Just like she did in first and second set. Yes, yep. Yeah, two of the three points are on her kills. New Bremen, 3-1 lead here in set number four. Great volleyball between these two schools. Masher with a quick set by Barhorst and Money. And their two points are on her two kills. It's kind of a weird situation, oddity, that we talk about how ebb and flow and the momentum, but one player can actually keep things going for a long time, just like Olivia Heitkamp. Well, and you said something earlier about can they play that ball when she goes across court? Maybe they were over there playing that. I didn't see, but then she hits it the other direction, which is what you said. You know, do they ever just change their hit all the time, of course? Serve is out of bounds by Schrader. 12th miss serve for New Bremen. And they have a 4-3 lead here in set four. Back to serve is Jenna Barhorst. Big by Heitkamp. Steiniger up to Heitkamp, and her head is long, out of bounds. The tied at four. Actually a pretty good bump set by Steininger. Four Norman crowds trying to urge them to get the momentum here in set number four to force the set five. That one is hit long on the serve by Barhorst out of bounds. Each team has a missed serve now early in the set. And all important to communicate on the court when the ball is that close. I can't put the serve. Spike back over by Summer Hoying. Pass back to the near side. That's off the block of Frilling. And a kill for Amelia Dammeyer. It's just her fifth kill. They bring it up six to four here in set four. Take by Grillo. Coming right back on the thunderous spike of Summer Hoying. Pass to the near side. It's short by Dammeyer. Coming right back is Frilly. Quick set, tipped over, and good by Mary Rindler. That time it seemed like Fort Lormley was waiting for the thundering spike, but it was a side shot that would get him in. Well, it's like a change up in baseball. You, could, you know, you can lose your balance on it. Expecting a hard hit, and then it's a soft one. Nice save for New Bremen on the spike, but this one's hit long out of bounds by Amelia Dammeyer. Now oh, wait a minute. Did I they think there was a tip? touch. They did call a touch. John Rogers, head coach of Fort Lormie, says, what touch? I, 
I thought the far line judge called a touch right away. And, of course, Coach Rogers is, you know, if one person sees it, one person sees it. That's it. I can't put the serve. Barnhorst with a pass back to Albers, who hits it over. Dan Meyer comes right back with a spike. Rolio with the dig. Tip back over nicely by Albers. Block partially at the net. And that hit is out of bounds sideways by Mary Rindler. Well, she tipped it over there a little bit earlier for a kill. This time just a little bit too far. Back to serve is Summer Hoying. Line drive serve. Back what a, set. What a set. For Dan, for Dan Meyer, and that is off the block. So that will be a kill for Dan Meyer. That's Olivia, Olivia Dan Meyer. Yep, kill number three. You almost have to wait and see if there's a touch or what because you have no clue if you're not down there on the court. The line drive serve by Dwenger. I mean, right back on the spike is Brandewey, saved by Dan Meyer and free ball back over by Schrader. Frilling off the double block will get the point for Fort Norman. That was a nice back set by uh, Barhorst. She does a really nice job. Frilling has two kills now. Nine to six in the Lee's famous recipe chicken fourth set. New Bremen with a three point lead. Back to serve is Albers. Back set. Hitting it over is Dan Meyer short. That was like, excuse me. <laughs> but that, of course, when you see that, it's all planned. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes you tip it out of necessity, and sometimes you tip it strategically, and I think that one was strategically, a little roll shot. And she's got two kills now in this set. April Baker back to serve for New Bremen. Really go with the dig, and they hit back over successfully by Brandewey, and now free balled over by Schrader. And they keep it alive, or do they almost kept it alive? Good effort for Fort Norman. They had Barnhorst that was there and others. And now Fort Norman will call a timeout. 11 to 6. New Bremen with the lead here in set four of this regional championship game, the uh, matchup here at uh, Northmont. And you are watching it here on WOSN. We're pleased to announce the new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere, anytime. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. We were talking about the ebb and flow. The first and second sets are going, okay, New Bremen had the upper hand. Fort Lormie had the upper hand in set three. This one's kind of going back and forth in set four. It is going back and forth, although New Bremen does have a five-point lead. Um, you wonder if if teams are playing a little nervous, maybe they're playing a little safer than normal. Um, I think the best strategy is to play aggressive the whole time. Baker gets well, just like Fort Lormie did earlier, gets the net serve. You know, there's a lot of coaches that don't like that rule because you cannot practice defending it. You can't say, okay, we want all of our girls now to just lip that thing off the net and, and practice it. It just can't be done. Baker with an ace. Frilling comes back, nice slam and kill for Ellen Frilling. And that's just her second, uh, not just her second, but this is her third kill overall, second in this set. Coming back to serve will be Jaden Rose for Fort Norman. Another one of those designated servers. I can't. Gets it over, quick set for Mesher, blocked again. Tipped over, nice save, tipped over again by Schrader. Coming right back, nice hit, a short hit by Avery Brandewey. With uh, both teams using designated servers, you wonder how close they come to the uh, substitution limit. You only get 18 substitutes in a set, and just having a, a designated server sometimes adds to that uh, number of subs. I can't put the dig. Short set for Trentman. She hits it down the line and in. 
Wow, from our vantage point, we couldn't really see, but it must have hugged that line and called for a point. Yeah, that's her first, uh, fifth kill. She does really well on that slide. Amelia Danmeyer back to serve for New Bremen. Our horse and finding the opening is Mesher. Kill number 10. 13 to nine, New Bremen with the lead. Set four, these famous recipe scoreboard. New Bremen up two sets to one. Brandaway back to serve. Serve over. Quick set for Trentman. And she taps it over Mesher and behind Mesher for the kill. And that would have been a, a strategic tip where she maybe peripherally saw an open spot on the floor. That's her sixth kill. Kira Steindiger back to serve for New Bremen. Nice bump pass by Barnhorse. And that will go off of Dammeyer on the spike and kill by Brandewey. Fourteen to ten. It's been played close to the vest here in set number four. Back to serve as Mesher. That's an ace. I'm telling you, she's got something going. Well, that ball floats pretty well. Most of those drop in front. And the ball not only can move left and right on that knuckleball serve, but it also can drop unexpectedly. Five aces for Mesher in this matchup. Quick set, and this one is free balled over by Steiniger. Good play that time. Apparently tipped toward the back line by Dammeyer on the spike and kill. Well, on the timeout, New Bremen had a five-point lead, and since that timeout, that lead has been cut down to two points. Mesher will continue to serve. Quick hit back over, nice play by Schrader. She's so smart. Because Fort Lormy was setting their defense up and she tapped it over the net before they could even set up. Yep. That's how you get to be player of the year in the MAC. Schrader back to serve. That's an ace. I think that is the first or second service ace for New Bremen. Yeah, in this set, both of them in this set, so. Uh, overall, Lormy's done a great job passing serve. Big by Brandon Wade. And back over by Albers. Now the bump pass for Heitkamp, who hits it over. Grolio with the dig for Fort Lormy. And coming right back with a spike and kill, Summer Hoy. That's her ninth kill. Thrilling will come in. And going out will be Lukeman for Fort Loramie. Back to serve will be a Jetta Barhorst. Serve is over. Take by Dan Meyer. Pass to Heitkamp who hits it over. Quick set this time. The spike and kill for Skyler Albers. She got a great pass and a great set on that one. Well, and considering she had a zero step spike approach because she was already standing right there. Very difficult to get any power on that when you have a zero step spike approach. Our horse for the serve. Quick hit back over and it's Rindler who gets it blocked right back over. And I think that was Summer Hoy. It's the fifth block for uh, Fort Lormy uh, this afternoon. Just the first one in this set. Barhorse with the serve. Heitkamp will get back over quickly. That goes off of, off of Barhorse. That's her 23rd kill. So it's almost like when New Bremen needs a stop, they go to Heitkamp. And why not? How many, how many kills do you say she has? She has 23. Yeah. A yeoman's job. Heitkamp with the serve. Barhorse with a pass inside, the spike. And the kill by Brandewey. 17-16, New Bremen's lead is one. Back to serve for Fort Loramie is Summer Hoy. 
And set four. And that time it's blocked. Amelia Danmeyer and a block by Furling. And second block in this set. And since the timeout, the score is in favor of Fort Lormie, 11 to 6 since that timeout. 17 all. Summer Hoying with the serve. Back set for Heitkamp. She hits it short. Saved on the dig. Furling. Back over for Fort Lormie. Bump pass back. Dan Beyer has a block. And hit into the net by Rindler. She tried to do the best she could on that one. And hit it into the net. And Fort Lormie has the lead, 18-17. And New Bremen calls a timeout. We're in set four in this regional championship at Northmont. Fort Lormie by one, 18-17 in set four. Back with more on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapakoneta, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. I think the wick has been turned up here at Northmont. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah, this is really great volleyball. And the setters in this set are really spreading the ball around. Both uh, teams have six girls with kills in this set. Served by Hoying is over. Pass to Dan Meyer, and she hits it down into the corner. So just when it looked like Fort Lormley was going to open up a small lead, the Bremen comes right back, ties the score. And that's her, that's Amelia's sixth kill. Back to serve is Sarah Dwenger. That one hits the top of the net and falls on the Fort Lormley side. And I'll tell you what, both sides have had that going on all day long. You know, there's just nothing you can do about it. You just have to shake it off and come and come back. That's considered an ace serve. Yes. Barnhorse pass it over. The hit by Brandon Wee. Pass up to Dan Meyer. She has it blocked. Blocked out of bounds, I think. By Furling. So now it's 20 to 18. Those New Bremen. Three very quick points by New Bremen. So when you look at this and a timeout, you want to see how teams react. Well, after New Bremen calls that timeout, they take a two-point lead. They do, and you know that that first point out of the timeout, Schrader set that ball to a um, which of the Dammeyers, Amelia Dammeyer, and they probably maybe were focusing against height. Camp, uh, height camp or one of the other hitters, but instead you give it to uh, to the senior out there, and maybe Fort Lormie wasn't expecting that. If you're Coach Rogers right now, you're telling them we have to get a good pass off this serve, and if you're Coach Kramer, you're saying watch the t the setter tipping the ball. Uh, you know, let's make sure we focus on everything we're supposed to, especially get this serve in. Wanger with a serve, and it's free ball back over eventually by Brandon Wee. Quick set this time, and Trentman has it rocketed right back at her by Brandon Wee. That's the second block for Fort Lormie in this set. Now back to serve will be Skyler Albers. It's still anybody's matchup, 20 to 19, New Bremen set four. For New Bremen up two sets to one. Pass back to Dan Meyer, and that's off the block. And good. And that one went to Olivia Dan Meyer. That's her third kill in this set. Now back to serve will be April Baker, the sophomore. Now she got an ace earlier in this set. And that one served into the net. So that doesn't bode well when you come in, you're a serving specialist, and then put it right into the net. Right, but if you're going to serve tough, that's what happens. Yep. Again, that risk-reward that Diana Kramer and New Bremen's talking about. Yep, that's their 13th miss serve tonight. 
Back to serve is Jaden Rose for Fort Loramie. Trentman tips it over, saved by Mesher. Pass back, spike is over by Brandewee. Pass to the near side, Dan Meyer hits it long out of bounds. That's Amelia Dan Meyer. We're tied at 21. See two coaches standing up for uh, Fort Loramie right now. You're allowed to do that. A second coach can stand up any time between plays. Where hit back over and it's in. Although they say it was touched. I, I thought it was touched actually. I think Grillio was the one that touched it. Yeah. The, the line judge called it in. It looked out from here, but I think the ball was, was touched. touched. Yes. So the result would be the same. Familia so Danmeyer back to serve. Grillio with the dig for Fort Loramie. This was hit sideways and out of bounds by Summer Hoy. 23-21, New Bremen. It was another very close call, though. Where we are, Jeff, the light, the window right. light reflects right on the line, so I couldn't tell that one at all. That serve is over. Tipped over by Barhorst. Pass back to Heitkamp, has a double block. Saved. Hit back into the net by Schrader. She was trying to hit that through a double block. But the ball got uh, blocked right back into her, and she wasn't able to make the play. So Avery Brandewee is back to serve for Fort Warmy. That skins down by one. Pass to Heitkamp. Off the double block. Saved by Fort Warmy. Bar horse for Mesher. Just tipped over. Jump at the net. And it's into the net. And we're tied at 23. Game to two. Game to two, win by two. I'll tell you what, this goes to a forced five. That will be anybody's matchup. Brandaway with the serve. Bremen will free ball it over nicely by Schrader. Our horse sets up Brandaway. And Fort Ormy is on the cusp of a fourth set win to tie this up. This is such a huge play right here. Yeah, you got a win by two. Randaway is back to serve for Fort Lermy. This is set point. Heitkamp with a dig. Pass back to Heitkamp. It's off the block of Barhorse, and we're tied at 24. So again, you must win by two. That's her 24th kill. And they've seven kills in the first set, six in the second, six in the third, and five now in the fourth. Very consistent. Uh, everything now is magnified. Steiniger with the serve. Barhorse with a back set. Tip at the net. Tip back over. Wow. And nice tip by Barhorst. Tip this time by Rindler. Back over. Blocked at the net by Heitkamp on Mesher. Wow. Great volleyball. Match point right here. Match point right here. So it was match point for Fort Lormy a while ago, and now it's match point for New Bremen. Got a win by two. Service over. Bar horse. And the block at the net by Rindler on Summer Hoying, and that is it. Wow, what a matchup. 26 24, set four, and New Bremen gets revenge from Fort Lormy from earlier in the season. Now we'll move on to the Nutter Center, Dayton, for the Division IV state semifinals. Uh, just a wonderful afternoon of volleyball. That could have gone either way. That fourth set could have gone either way. And if that's the case, the fifth set would have gone, you know, who's, who, who's guess? But just congratulations to Fort Lormy on a tremendous season this year. The state coaches thought they were the best team in the state in the way they voted. Congratulations to New Bremen for getting back to the state tournament again. And they're on the court right now really cheering, and, and the emotions are so different on both sides of the net. Yeah, you look at Fort Lormie, they, they were wanting to get to the state championship by losing to New Bremen last year. They wanted to go this year. They won head-to-head -head matchup in the regular season. 
But boy, this one was just a tough, tough matchup here today at North Mount. Well, and it's tough to beat somebody twice in the same season, especially at this level. But um, j just a great match, and, uh, and uh, I'm really glad I was here to see it. Again, uh, the final scores in the matchup. New Bremen won set one, 25-15. They won set two, 25-21. Fort Laramie won set three, 25-15. It was back and forth in set four. Matter of fact, Fort Laramie had set point, could not get it. And New Bremen had set point and won it, winning by two, 26-24. New Bremen, 23-4. We'll move on to the Nutter Center at Dayton in the state semifinals on Friday. And they will play there and represent to try to go back and show that they can be state champions once again. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, it's interesting how this works because New Bremen often represents Northwest Ohio. And this year they represent Southwest Ohio. So teams that they typically would knock out in the regional tournament up at Elida are, are one, somebody's gonna win from up there, either Crestview or, um, or Tiffin Calvert. So we'll see who that is. So the fact that New Bremen is down here in, uh, in the uh, Southwest um, is, is sort of critical on how that matches up each year. So New Bremen wins this uh, regional championship, the final eight, now it's the final four for the state semifinals in at the Nutter Center for Division Four. And congratulations on a great season for Fort Lormie. They finished 25 and three. Very nice coach, John Rogers in his 17th year. And they have a lot to keep their heads high on. They, they fought very, very well, had a great, great tournament. Well, we can say that. I wouldn't say that to them to their face right now, but in, <laughs> in the long run, they will look back yeah. on this and think it was a great season. And they have such a good program there. Uh, coach Rogers, just a great coach. They have lots of girls that play volleyball there. And like you said, they have, what, nine juniors? Did you say that earlier? That they have nine juniors on the team. And uh, so I'm sure they're gonna be uh, a pretty good team again next year. Well, again, uh, for the New Bremen Cardinals, congratulations to Diana Kramer. Uh, now her 203rd victory, now going back to the state finals for the second consecutive year. I'd like to thank Chris Luthold, who's been my wingman today, did an excellent job. Also, cameraman Jacob O'Neill and editor Nick Fraley. And thanks to our sponsors that you see here on TV44. Also, the scoreboard sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, and the premier sponsor for New Bremen, Hemelgarn Real Estate. So again, go ahead. And I really look forward to see New Bremen at the state tournament again. And it's tough to repeat as a state champion. They certainly have the team that could do that, though. All right, that will do it for us for here at Northmont. Again, the regional champions for 2023, the New Bremen Cardinals winning three sets to one over the Fort Loramie Redskins. And it was a great matchup between number one ranked and number two ranked. Number two ranked New Bremen comes out as champions of the regional. Now it's to the final four. Chris Luthold and our sponsors and Jacob O'Neill. I'm Jeff Oberholzer from Northmont. Thanks for watching Championship Volleyball on WOSN.